everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and this past weekend I got to go to One Direction's seven hour live stream and host a segment as part of it. You guys watched along, freaked out along with me, and I wanted to answer any of your questions that you had because not many people got to go, and I wanted to bring y'all along with me. I couldn't film there, they wouldn't let me, so I figured the next best thing was to answer all of your questions, so here we go. Donna wants to know, when did I find out that I was gonna be at the event? I found out a couple days before the actual event, uh, U Generation reached out to me and asked if I wanted to go and be a part of their segment and host a little game with two of the boys, and of course I said yes. So thank you, U Generation, for sending me. I couldn't have done it without you. You guys are the best. What was it like singing Christmas carols with the boys? Well, at the end of the live stream, every guest came right back on and sang at the end uh, as a huge group a Christmas carol, and it was very surreal because I was right next to Jerry Springer. Zane was behind me. Louis was next to me. It was just like, what am I doing with my life? What is going on? This is not a normal thing, but amazing, because like, amazing, because clearly it was amazing. What was the best thing one of the guys said to me? Um, I would probably have to go with... So when I was standing behind all the cameras with like 20 people, like behind the scenes people, um, Harry and Niall were on stage hosting a whole hour. But at one point, Harry and I made eye contact. And I couldn't really tell if Harry was making eye contact with me because I was in a group of like 20 people and I was right behind the phone booth where the people were hearing uh, Midnight Memories for the first time. And so I couldn't really tell if he was like looking at me. But then when they shot to the video segment, he took off his microphone, started running over and I was like, is he coming to me? Is he coming to me? I think he's coming to me. Oh my God, he's coming to me. Hi. And he like came right over and he was like, Tyler, I just wanted to say thank you for coming. It means a lot to us. Like even that tiny sentence was like enough because he came only over to say hello to me. Um, it just felt very like, holy crap, these guys are so considerate. Like they're just cognizant of everything that's going on and who is being a part of the production. Did the boys remember you from the One Direction movie premiere? Every single boy remembered me, which is just very bizarre. But then again, I have to remember like in a full day of interviews, like you answer the same questions over and over, but rarely does somebody give you flower crowns. So I think thankfully I did that then because then they're always gonna associate me with that for the future. It was just really cool. What is it like to go down in history to have given Zayn his middle name, Beyonce? I just feel like this was the most important thing that I did all day and it didn't even register that that could have been the thing, but then it trended worldwide and everyone was freaking out and it was trending for like ever. I don't know, it just is ridiculous. Like honestly, it seems to me that when I die, these words will be written on my stone, truly. Iconic. Do you regret not keeping your hair lilac? So a couple days before I did this, I actually went blonde. If you can really tell, it's kind of blonder. And incidentally, during the live stream, Niall went lilac. So we kind of switched spots. But it was so funny because after Niall dyed his hair, we saw each other backstage and he came up to me and he was like, is Twitter having a panic because I stole your look? And I was like, maybe next time when we meet, we will coordinate our hair colors. This is an emergency. What does Harry Styles smell like? If I were asked any question most, it is probably this question. Uh, I would probably have to say that Harry Styles smells like, and you can quote me on this, sunshine and rainbows and sex. Sophia wants to know, what was my first thought after the interview? My first thought as I was walking off stage was, I hope I didn't embarrass myself or do anything bad or say anything bad or put the boys in an awkward position. Thankfully, everything went according to plan. How many times did you feel like you were gonna shit yourself from all the feels? About a million times. Do you realize how many people would have given anything to be in your position? I 100% understand the gravity of the situation. I, when I was first told that I was gonna be able to do it, I was very daunted by the fact. It was just like when I did the interview, but it was just like, there are so many people that would be so honored to even be in the same room. And thankfully, you generation understood that I would go and I would go on behalf of all the people at home asking the questions that if I were home, what I would want to see asked. And I, I think I delivered, hopefully I delivered. Uh, let me know what you think. Were you just as nervous as the first time you interviewed them for this? Um, I think it was, yes I was, but it was a very different kind of nervous. Like the first time I was nervous to meet them, the second time I was nervous that I would disappoint you guys. And I just wanted to deliver the best kind of segment that I possibly could. I think it went really well. I, I think you guys really enjoyed it. So hopefully next time I do something even more epic. Did you get a selfie with all the boys? I actually got a selfie with 
almost all of them. Liam was the only one I didn't get a picture with. I did go up to him and I shook his hand. I was like, congratulations, thank you so much for letting me be a part of it, blah, blah, blah. We had a little exchange at the very end, um, but he was in his costume and he was ready to go and change before they had their after parties and stuff like that. So I didn't want to like impede. The other boys were going around taking pictures with people. So I was like, okay, I'm going to let Liam do his thing. But there are other boys, yes, I got a picture with and I will be releasing those on Instagram. So go check it out, instagram.com slash Tyler Oakley. By the time you watch this, they may all be up. So the link will be below. Were management nice? So I kept getting questions asking about One Direction's management. Um, I never even interacted with them. I couldn't even tell who was management. Everyone on set was so nice and accommodating and helpful. Um, but who knows who was crew, who was management. Everyone was really nice. What are your favorite songs from Midnight Memories? So if you don't know, Midnight Memories is out right now. The link is below. Go get the album. It is really good. I love Alive, Best Song Ever, Better Than Words. Diana is so good. Half a Heart is so good. It's just like such a good ballad and it's so like well written. Happily is amazing. Little White Lies, amazing. And I think one of my absolute favorites on the album has to be Midnight Memories. It's like so good and like adult and like rockish. I really adore it. So honestly, I just listed like all the songs, but go get the album. It's amazing. You will adore it. Honestly, it's a good progression from Up All Night to Take Me Home to Midnight Memories. Like it's a huge like growth and I am so ready for it. Are there any fun stories from backstage or things that we wouldn't have seen? Um, one cool moment was actually outside while we were all eating lunch. Uh, the boys were just playing basketball and throwing a football and just running around and talking to people It was just like they were normal humans and to say that out loud is like to state the obvious But a lot of times at home You don't think of celebrities as like you and I like just normal like walking around every day Like you don't see them doing normal things. You see them in interviews. You see them performing I don't know like yeah There were a lot of backstage moments that you probably wouldn't have seen but just in general It was them being normal people not performing which nothing really huge or ground breaking but like just cool and unassuming. How hard did you fangirl when you got home? Um, I, I couldn't stop smiling. I just remember walking down the sidewalk thinking I feel so blessed and lucky and happy and I caught myself just grinning from ear to ear because I don't feel like a lot of people get opportunities like I have been given, especially in this past year. And so I, I am so thankful to anybody that has had an instrumental part in that. And to you at home, I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you and without your support. Um, so thank you, because it just wouldn't happen without you guys uh, appreciating what I do and appreciating my dreams and helping make them happen. What did it feel like to be trending worldwide? Um, it was mind boggling. I have no words. It's better than words. So I think that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can ask me on my Facebook page, write it on my wall. I will be answering some of those. And here is actually a preview of the clip that I did with the boys right here. Welcome Tyler, everybody! Hi, how are you guys doing? All good. All good I have yeah. been watching all day long. It's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank amazing, you. amazing. Say all kind words. Of course. Complete this title from Midnight Memories. Story of? Talk. <laughs> Name the film where Steve Carell plays a man in his 40s desperate for a girlfriend. My life. So clearly it was amazing. If you want to see the entire clip, go watch it. The link is below. It's on the U Generation YouTube channel. Thank you again, U Generation. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. You guys made my dreams come true. If you like this video and you want me to do more stuff with One Direction, push the thumbs up and that'll let me know to do that because if you want it, I will do it for you, but you have to give me a thumbs up because that's the rule. And if you want to see all my pictures from the day, like I said, I will be releasing all my pictures with the boys on my Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Tyler Oakley. But until next time, have a good life and I will see y'all later. Bye.